West Germany's efforts led to the creation of the Leopard 2, a tank that remains highly respected to this day. Meanwhile, the United States channeled its resources into the XM-1 project, which would eventually become the M-1 Abrams. Despite setbacks, the design direction established by Chrysler Defense, later acquired by General Dynamics, laid the groundwork for one of the world's most iconic tanks. The earliest version of the Abrams was armed with a 105mm rifled cannon, an American adaptation of the British L-7 gun. This gave the Abrams solid firepower and versatility, but it would soon require even greater armament to stay ahead of future threats. With the introduction of the M1A1 variant in 1986, the Abrams was upgunned to a 120mm smoothbore cannon designed by Germany's Rain Metal. This M256 cannon significantly increased the tank's lethality, allowing it to engage enemy tanks at longer ranges with greater accuracy and power. The Abrams is known not just for its firepower but also for its exceptional armor. Equipped with Chobham armor, a composite blend of materials like ceramics, Kevlar, and steel, the Abrams offers a level of crew protection that is revolutionary. It was among the first tanks to feature separate, armored compartments for its fuel and ammunition, which enhanced safety by reducing the risk of catastrophic explosions. Powering the M1 Abrams is a Honeywell AGT 1500C gas turbine engine, producing a staggering 1,500 horsepower. This engine allows the Abrams to reach speeds up to 42 miles per hour on roads and 30 miles per hour off-road. Despite the tank's heavy weight of over 67 tons, this powerful engine gives the Abrams remarkable speed and agility for its class. Tank crews often refer to the Abrams as the Cadillac of tanks. Its advanced hydropneumatic suspension allows it to absorb rough terrain with ease, providing a smoother ride compared to other tanks. In training and on the battlefield, crews have appreciated the tank's handling and responsiveness, often comparing it to driving a high-end vehicle. The Gulf War in 1991 marked the Abrams' baptism by fire. Here, the M1A1 variant proved its worth, facing Iraqi T-55s, T-62s, and T-72s. The Abrams' night vision technology, superior range, and crew training gave it a distinct advantage. In this conflict, the Abrams was able to engage enemy tanks from ranges at which the Iraqi forces could not effectively respond. The terrain of the desert posed unique challenges, but the Abrams adapted quickly. The tank's composite armor provided significant protection against enemy fire, and its powerful main gun allowed it to destroy enemy tanks with ease. Only 23 Abrams tanks were lost during the entire conflict, with most losses attributed to friendly fire or mechanical failures rather than enemy action. In 2003, during the Iraq War, the Abrams once again proved its effectiveness. This time, Abrams tanks were fitted with urban warfare upgrades, known as the Tank Urban Survival Kit, Tusk. These kits included reactive armor to defend against RPGs, and slat armor, which helped protect against anti-tank weapons. The Tusk upgrades allowed the Abrams to engage in urban combat, where threats could come from any direction. The Abrams had to adapt to close-quarters engagements, where the enemy could strike from above or behind, aiming at the tank's weaker spots. With the Tusk modifications, Abrams' tank survived in dense urban environments, giving U.S. forces a critical edge in places like Baghdad. Over the years, the Abrams has undergone numerous upgrades, with the most advanced version being the M1A2 SEP. This variant includes a sophisticated digital architecture, allowing for better navigation, communication, and target acquisition. The M1A2 SEP also features improved thermal imaging, enabling it to detect and engage targets more effectively at any time of day. The M1A2 SEP model also incorporates depleted uranium armor, enhancing its survivability against modern anti-tank weapons. This version of the Abrams represents the pinnacle of modern tank design, combining raw power, cutting-edge technology, and unparalleled protection. The Abrams' versatility extends beyond its role as a battle tank. Its chassis serves as the foundation for specialized vehicles, including the M1 Grizzly Combat Mobility Vehicle and the M1 Panther II Mine Clearing Vehicle. These adaptations showcase the Abrams' flexibility, allowing it to perform critical support roles in addition to frontline combat. Although it's been in service for over 40 years, modernization programs continue to keep the Abrams relevant on the battlefield. Planned upgrades, including enhanced armor, improved sensors, and the potential for hybrid electric engines, indicate that the Abrams is far from obsolete. The Abrams has not only defined modern tank warfare but has also become a symbol of American military power. Its reputation for durability, strength, and technological superiority makes it a valuable asset for the U.S. Army and Marine Corps, 
as well as allied forces around the world. The M1 Abrams is more than just a tank. It's a symbol of strength, resilience, and technological excellence. From the deserts of the Middle East to the plains of Europe, the Abrams has proven itself time and again, adapting to the challenges of each new battlefield. As you've seen, the story of the M1 Abrams is one of innovation, endurance, and evolution. It's a reminder of what can be achieved when technology, strategy, and dedication come together. If you found this deep dive into the M1 Abrams fascinating, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Your support allows us to bring you more stories about the incredible machines and strategies that shape our world. Don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts in the comments. Whether it's about the Abrams, military technology, or future topics you'd like us to explore. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Thank you.